Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And further on the topic of cannibalism and the antisocial personality, the person who whose whole universe uh, revolves around his particular ego and for whom there are no concentric circles of um, fellowship such as natal family, community, nation, and Gaia, like that. The person whose whole entire universe is himself and for whom uh, all the other apparently people in the world are just parts of himself, either good parts or bad parts, as has been discussed in prior blogs quite some time ago. So, so the topic has come up, why is it that sometimes sociopaths and antisocial personalities, as is the current term for them, uh, what I call asps, you know, it's kind of a poisonous snake feeling. Um, why are they sometimes um, cannibals? And I have an answer, an interesting answer for the psychology, psychiatry groups. Uh, I think that when a, when a sociopath considers some people to be bad parts of himself, then uh, or dispensable, or for some reason, um, it's convenient to to sacrifice them or kill them, murder them. Then the notion of cannibalism is a, is a sort of a sacred rite, kind of a, a black communion in which the sociopath eats uh, or communes with. Uh, incorporates into his own body the um, the flesh of a bad part, and so or good part, whatever part, and so no matter who they are, they become a part of him, which then um, reconfirms his notion that he is the only person anywhere. So it's like he's having communion with himself and proving that he is the God over everything and the only thing anywhere. <laughs> 